What's up, my homeboys, homegirls, brothers, and sisters? Can't let go, haunt y'all night. Um, first off, I just want to say thank you for having me back in all this. Hold on, let me uh, fix the camera. Okay, so uh, guys, uh, tonight while I was out, you know. Riding over to go to Jack in the Box to get me and my mom something to eat. And also going to, you know, um, a convenience, what do you call it, a convenience store or a gas station, uh, to get her cigarettes, of course, and she prefers Newport shorts. And also, uh, Starbucks caramel, um, coffee drink. Tonight, I also pretty much got something else for me. And that is a Sprite Cherry. Now, I've never heard of this before. I don't know if it's new or if I don't know if this has been a franchise for a while and it just came out. Who knows? Maybe it is. But, I'm about to get a taste of this. Hmm? Oh, fizzing. Okay. Let's see how it tastes. Slap me silly and call me Sally. This is absolutely tremendous. I'm not doing this just for the camera. I mean it. Like, it's like the taste is like really eloquent. Like something I've never had before. This is my first time trying something new. Actually, not very the first time. One time I did try a um, Pepsi on fire. That's what it's called. It's a cinnamon flavored kind of Pepsi. And it tasted cinnamony and good. Uh also. Uh, I uh kinda want to do like a little review, by the way, um on this brand new T V series it's called Marvel's The Punisher. It's based off of military man, Marine Corps Lieutenant Frank Francis Frank Castle, aka the Punisher. Uh, this will be my review for like the first episode. So the episode started off with like Castle like taking out everybody, the cartels, the. Hellhounds, I think. I don't know. And the Kitchen Irish. And apparently, like, after, like, that opening, especially where he, like, decided to burn his body armor with the skull on it. Apparently, that was, just, like, a sign that, like, maybe, like, he finally did his job, finally got everyone who had part to play in what happened to his family. After the whole intro, six months later, he's known as Pete Castiglione and is working on a construction site. He is also working alongside with a bunch of dickheads who treat him like shit and call him the Gimp. But this new guy in particular, Donnie, uh, he's a pretty cool guy, you know, and all that. But it's like, he's like... Apparently trying to, like, find a new, you know, friend. Matter of fact, hold, let me look it up on my... I'll look it up on my laptop to give you, like, better information on the episode. The Punisher...
Oh, I'm uh, looking for it, guys. If I can find it. So, this is the only information that I could find after tracking down and executing the surviving gangsters involved in the deaths of his wife and children, Frank Castle keeps a low profile, of course. No, it also was like what I said, Pete Castiglione. By also working at a New York City construction site under the alias P. Castellani. Uh, I should have said that. It would have been a lot more better. The only person who knows his true identity... Sorry. The only person who knows his true identity is Curtis Spoil, a former Navy Sark who runs a PTSD support group for veterans. Yeah, see, Curtis, he's a real good guy, and plus he served with Frank. Maybe not on the Cerberus squad, but, like, at a different time. Unfortunately, Curtis lost a leg. But that's a story for another time. Let's see... One night, Frank's co-workers pressure... New employee Donnie Chavez, like the guy I said, who was a really cool guy, was apparently just trying to find a friend into helping them rob a lone shark related to the Nucci crime family. The robbery, uh, however, goes wrong, considering that, like, okay, so, like, let me get straight into that. Wait, before that. Uh, apparently, Frank, even though he did take down the surviving gangs who were involved in the deaths of his wife and children, he still, however, has, like, night, like, dreams and nightmares of Maria, you know, his wife, Maria Castle. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, and the reason that, uh, Frank's co-workers had pressured Donnie is because they lost their guy considering, uh, got his arm broken while working at the site. So that's when all of a sudden they decided to replace him with Donnie. And like I said, the robbery went wrong when Donnie has ID, well has wallet, uh, really. Uh, drops it, uh, it was inside of his hoodie, uh, you know, pocket, and it slipped out, and it, of course, revealed an identity, his true identity. Oh, yeah, I uh, put the card uh, in the, on top of the fridge. Anyway, uh... So... <laughs> I probably didn't even know the guy's, you know, names, but, uh, 
They decided to drive back, you know, like, right where they work, and, like, they literally beat the living shit out of Donnie for, like, screwing up on the robbery. Apparently, it didn't exactly, you know, work out like it was supposed to, and they claimed that, like, that he needed to disappear. So, the ringleader decides to say, decides to... Tell the other guy, start start the cement mixer. They take him all the way pretty much to the top. They just like throw him off into this like blocked like tall like tall like walled area. And they decide to let him drown in cement. Frank, however, saves the day. You know, from being drowned, killing the other construction workers in the process. Before, oh yeah, not only that, uh, he also gave prim, like when he lowered the rope for Diane to climb up and like to safety, he also left him the money saying, with like marker on it saying, "Leave town." Afterward, he goes to, like, oh, so, ah, shit, oh, sorry guys, it's my, uh, belt was tight, anyway, he, um, I'm gonna put this, Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, it goes to, like, their little hideout, you know? Uh, killing the lone shark and his associates. I'm aware that a mysterious figure, who I will talk about in the next, uh, review, is spying on him... Through the through a surveillance camera. Meanwhile, Homeland Security agent Dina Madani tries to use her position at the New York field office to find people responsible people responsible for killing her former friend and employer. I mean, sorry, former friend and partner Ahmed Zubair, who was apparent. You'll definitely find out, like, sooner or later, so I might as well spill it. Yeah, um, the guy, Ahmed Zubair, he was a part of, like, Operation Cerberus. And, uh, he was tortured by a CIA agent, uh, his, who goes, William Rawlins, a.k.a. Agent Orange. And then got a bullet in his head by Frank. I mean, Frank realized that what he was pretty much doing up there in Afghan was wrong. That it was not the right way to go. That, like, and he pretty much, I think, feels guilty about it. Anyways, uh... Yeah. Ahmed Zubair, he was part of, like, a big, uh, case, which was investigating American soldiers who were smuggling heroin, you know, before he died. Um, there were a whole lot of people who were a part of Operation Cer- Operation Cerberus. Uh, let's see, it was Frank Castle, Gunnar Henderson... Billy Russo, uh, I mean, that trio is by far the only three people we know, everyone else we didn't know so much. Curtis may have served with Frank and Billy, but he never, uh, knew a thing about what was going on up there in Afghanistan.
Hey, wait, now, back to the mysterious figure. Apparently, he has access to, like, all the cameras in New York, so he can pretty much, uh, see everything, like, everywhere. And then, it pretty much ends with him saying, Welcome back, Frank. Honestly, I rate the episode, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 20. Honestly. I don't know. Scale to a thousand, I give it a hundred and ten. I don't know. Sorry. Yeah. I give it a thousand. Even to a million. I give it a hundred million. A brand. Five hundred million. It's just like, it was a really good episode, you know? Um, it was really action packed and all that. And it also had some funny scenes. Also, uh, Dino Madani apparently has a junior partner, and that is Samuel Sam Stein. Who we'll probably learn a little bit more about in the series. Oh, uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, just forget, don't forget, uh, eventually for Christmas I'll be doing a giveaway. It's a gift card giveaway. Amazon, uh, Google Play, GameStop, Xbox One, uh, PS4, uh, yeah, uh, eventually I'll be doing a giveaway. Just like a second announcement to all of those out there who are new. There's probably not a single person out there, like, listening to this right now. But, uh, anyways, yeah, back to the soda. Um, mm. Honestly, it tastes really fantastic. You know, I also kind of want to talk to you guys about something. I guess maybe this is just something I haven't talked to anyone about in a long time. Sorry, my uh, time kind of went out. Anyway, uh, this is something I haven't really talked to anyone about in a long time. Uh, it pretty much happened like last year. Uh, I think somewhere around July. I apparently uh, lost a family member who was, you know, I wasn't all that close, but still, she was family. And, uh, I've been getting better, you know. Actually, I don't think I remember attending a funeral. What can I say? I just, I don't like funerals. I may mean, have for my mom's here a while ago, but I don't want to think about death right now. You know, I just want to... Oh, an announcement. I will be moving from here eventually, and thank God, because it looks like this, like, on my camera, it looks like that all of a sudden lab, this place is, like, big. It's not. It is small as hell. And I think, like, the landlord... If it is a she, I consider her to be a horrible landlord. It's like, this apartment is in, like, in horrible conditions. The ceiling, the walls, the... Bat, like, the bathroom floor. However, that will be for another time. I'll technically be, like, doing a review on my apartment on, you know, um... Yeah, I'll be doing a review eventually. Oh. I just don't know, guys. And also, as since I pretty much did my review, talked about this fantastic ass soda, and also talked about losing a loved one and all that. Also, talking about the giveaway, why not add reaction in the mix? Now, 
Now, eventually, I'll be doing, like, YouTube Live on my laptop. I just gotta figure out how to do it. But you're about to see me react to Aaron Grandpa's Breakfast Meltdown. Like, the guy, he's, like, really funny. Uh, apparently, he has been feeling so good these past few months. All things considering. Um... Number one, due to traumatic events that took place back in June and July, at the end of June and, Ju and during July, uh, apparently a family member, his old, his eldest son, Charlie, Charles Charlie Green, apparently has done some bad shit lately, and he still continues to, to this moment. Uh, but, like, with the whole, like, sclerosis, liver incident, and, like, being in a wheelchair for a long time, also, like, just, like, cancer on his back, he's just been through a lot. Anyway, um, but why not be optimistic, you know, about certain stuff? Like, why not be optimistic throughout this time? So you're about to see me react to, um, one of his rage videos. Not really much of a rage. So like a meltdown freak out. It's called A and Grandpa's Breakfast Meltdown. Let's get to it. I thought I made my breakfast last two morning. What about Jenny? Where's she? Get in here! Okay, calm down. Jeez. Hey, I had a new breakfast! Tired me here myself! You know what it's like to get a hobble? Oof. Bring your water, stamp a stove, make some grits and some eggs! It ain't right! Calm down, Dad. Please. Why made a deal put no salt in nothing? So Jennifer has... Why is she not making you breakfast? I don't get that. When did you get it? She ain't been here! Are you stupid? Lord, what's he talking about? Jennifer, you ain't got her business. Well, it is her business. No, it ain't my business and your business and your business. Is, you're getting angrier than ever. You, you, you need to understand where I'm coming from. You do. <coughs> I don't understand. You just tell me you don't. Let me tell you one thing. You did <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, my man. Oh, my God. Come here, man. Come here. Tell me. You ain't made me better than two days. Right. I took the kids off this weekend. Yeah. And that made me feel like someone made me breakfast. Have someone else do it for you. Me if you want breakfast. so badly. You're at Jamie's? Yeah. Dude, that's like an hour away. She can't come. Well, that's my blessing. You need to find a way. Come on, Brandon. You need to find me everywhere in the land. Dude. You said you want a piece of pie. You need to get a piece of pie. Shit. Dad, chill. What do you mean? What? Breakfast ain't that important. Okay, it is. Hey, buddy, me. <laughs> Are you weak? I got my protein. I'll come bring you breakfast. How about that? I'll bring you McDonald's every day. No, I don't want McDonald's. I want eggs and... Grits. What are McDonald's? Okay. Okay, but Jenny wasn't here. But she better find me to start being here. Oh my god. <laughs> See, thank I you, Lauren. You made me nothing. You can't go. Oh, wow. That's a low blow, right. dude. Low Come blow. On. We don't frame it all. Oh my god. You're really running from a guy in the freaking wheelchair. Like, are you serious? Just kick him back. He's in a freaking wheelchair. It's like you're running from a guy in a wheelchair, dude. Like, I mean, are you serious? Wow, that's sad. <laughs> You're running for a guy in a freaking wheelchair. I mean, good lord. You went in the right quarters. Okay. Jesus. I'll talk to her. Need a speeding ticket. Whoa. Get out of here! Oh man. It's like, that's really sad in the fact that, like, AGP's own children, his own daughter and son, 
would run away from him in a freaking, like, while he's in a freaking wheelchair. Like, come on, let's do let, this. Let, I can't fucking talk. Uh, that's just downright pathetic, dude. That's just downright pathetic. Oh. Uh, to all you out there uh, who've seen my reaction to The Walking Dead Season 8, Episode 6, The Widow, The King, and Rick. What's sore? Alright guys, this is where I'm uh, gonna go, you know, finish the live stream. I know you don't trust Although me. Oh, they're watching. And that's why you've been holding Honestly, for real. But, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, favorite, follow me, and everything. Um, got a giveaway coming up, an update on when I move. And, uh, peace.